Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your reading. Um, welcome to your reading for the next 48 hours. Uh, I don't have any intuitive messages for you guys, so we're just going to get started with your reading, okay? What do you have for Pisces next? Uh, for some reason, I want to say the next 72, never, next 72 hours, so this may take place in the next three days as opposed to the next two days, or this may drag along. Um... What do you got for Pisces next 48 hours? I'm getting a grand opening. Okay, so I don't know if you're opening your own business or if there's a grand reopening of a business that's that's uh, all, that's all been closed down. Okay, a uh, grand opening or grand reopening. Okay, what do you got for Pisces next 48 hours? Okay, yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be getting a new car soon. Um, I'm getting that new car smell. So I don't know if you're just getting a car detailed or washed or you're getting a, a new car where you got that new car smell. But this is a new opportunity, okay? A new financial opportunity. It could be a new financial uh, venture or a new business. But yeah, I'm getting a grand opening or grand reopening. So I don't know. There's some kind of new financial thing going on for you in the next two days. Um, yeah, some of y'all could be having a new beginning in work, okay? I'm getting something about working closely together with someone. Could be a Scorpio, but um, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, wow. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Something's going to turn out beautiful. And I feel like there's an the energy of you putting everything that you got, you know, putting all your effort into something and it shows, okay. Putting your money where your mouth is. Okay. What we got? Five of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces? I'm getting Pisces like uh, something that you're doing that's brand new. Um, if you're, if you're bringing something new to the table or you're, you know, a new venture, whatever it is that you're embarking on, um, it's inspiring somebody and I feel like they're going to copy you. Okay. So someone's going to steal your ideas or take your ideas because they like it. Okay. It feels like this is an original idea or it's some, it's yours and someone's just play, you know, plain and simple going to take it from you. Okay. Why? Cause it's shiny. They like it. So they want to execute it as well. So expect like copycats or expect, uh, imitators. Okay. What is this ace of pentacles for Pisces next 48 hours? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Qu uh, King of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Pentacles. King of Pentacles reversed. Some of y'all, I feel like you're getting a certain vibe from somebody. You're getting a certain vibe from this person. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. I don't know if you don't trust this person in regards to business or work, but you're picking up on a maybe like a negative vibe towards this person that either they're not what they say they are or they're all about money, like too much about money or what. But you're getting specific, you're picking up on something. From somebody okay they're putting down some vibes and you're picking it up i don't know if it's the, i don't know if you're picking up but they what they're putting down though you could be picking up on something deeper okay pisces y'all know y'all spiritual y'all know that you are very intuitive okay so what is this um king of, king of pentacles reversed for pisces king of pentacles reversed the magician some i'm getting scorpio energy this is this is virgo King of Pentacles, reverse the magician. What is this for Pisces? King of Pentacles, reverse the magician. King of Pentacles, reverse. I'm getting the name Robert, Robert, or Rob. Okay, I just say names in case, because I, I pick it up. So just in case that might resonate with somebody. This person is inherently selfish. Okay, someone here is purely in something for selfish gain. And I feel like you've been picking this up about this person for a minute now. Okay, you have not been dumb. It has not, like, I'm picking it up. This person is inherently selfish, okay? This person is an egotistical, maniac, and materialistic, selfish person, okay, that only does stuff for selfish gain. This could be someone that wants you back or someone that wants in, someone that wants in on the piece of the pie, okay? This could be someone that you are partnered with or someone that you are in business with or that is a potential business partner. I would say don't go into business with this person. Number one, they are not business savvy. They're not business material. This person is not professional at all. Not a good businessman or businesswoman in any sense of the word. Okay, they're going to bring drama and they're going to clash. You're going to clash with this person. Okay, magician, this person could be doing stuff for selfish gain. Okay, literally doing stuff, just to, using their power uh, against you or using their power to influence you to do stuff that is only going to benefit them where you don't see any result, but they get everything. Okay, this person is inherently selfish, and I don't know if this person, I don't know, someone here may want a chance with you or a second chance if this is a person that you know already. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Who is this for Pisces? The King of Pentacles reversed. Who is this for Pisces? Who is this? 
the nine of swords it's not going to work with this person i feel like they make you uncomfortable as well pisces it's not going to work and i feel like you know better who is this nine of swords who is this for pisces this nine of swords somehow i'm getting leo uh nine of swords and the page of pentacles i just feel like this person does stuff on purpose Okay, this person does stuff on purpose to like keep you in a negative state of mind, okay? Or this person is going to keep you in a negative state of mind. Like you don't feel positive around this person. Okay, they don't they don't have a good influence on you or a good impact on you. They don't make you feel good. Who is this for Pisces? 9 of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. I I feel like this is someone that brings their problems to you, like all of their issues, like they may just like unload onto you or burden you with their issues. Okay, they don't bring nothing to the table with a plate, babe. They just want you to listen to them and take their abuse and then also cut them a piece of the check. And that's it. What kind of what, what did you do then? What kind of employee are you? What kind of employee? What kind of world would we have if every employee just did that? Right. You're fired. Okay. What else do you got for Pisces next 48 hours? Pisces next 48 hours. Okay, we have the two of swords. So this could be like a, a decision, something that you're having a hard time making, a choice. What is this Two of Swords for Pisces next 48 hours? Two of Swords, the Strength card. Some of you guys could be dealing with another Pisces, or this could be you deciding like maybe how to break the news to someone or how to deal with someone or how to handle this person. Two of Swords, Strength. What's this Two of Swords for Pisces? It's 40 hours. Two of Swords. Six of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. I don't know. I feel like Pisces, this person is being cheap with you. Like someone here is giving you the run of the mill. Okay. Someone here is giving you the runaround in business. Like, you know, this person is being cheap with you, but maybe you're trying to figure out like, how do I break the news to them that I'm not dumb as hell and that I know what they're doing? Okay. Like someone here, I feel like someone here is taking advantage of you. Okay, it literally feels like Pisces, something is your idea or it's yours, it's your beginning. And someone here is just making something all about them and they're being cheap with you and your business. Like, how are you going to, how are you going to steal money from me, from me? How are you going to steal money? How are you going to steal the money that I gave you from myself? Like, like you just, you just stealing from me that I don't know. It's like something doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know if someone doesn't realize that something goes back into the business or that's not how a business is run or what, but. I don't know. I feel like you know someone's giving you like the runaround or they're not being completely honest with you. Okay, so be mindful once again of being of getting into business with this person. This card kind of flipped out reverse. So be mindful. This could be like stuff coming out about someone that you're working with, truth getting exposed. I don't know if someone here does shady business or how they do their business, if they got shady deals going on, but you want to be far away from this person before shit hits the fan. Okay, I would not get involved with them. They're already showing you their true colors. I would not get involved any further, okay? If, if they're going to go down, I would not want you to go down with them, Pisces. I, like, do not, do not, like, be affiliated or mind your affiliations, okay? Be wary of, like, not everybody's your friend. You can't take everybody with you, okay? So just be mindful. Mm -mm, I don't like this. The hell is that? The hell is that? Mm-mm. Hell no. Mm -mm. Sorry. <laughs> what else you got for Pisces next 48 hours? Pisces next 48 hours. Okay, we got the Justice card. Yeah, there's that law stuff. So I'm like, if they got some shady stuff going on, man, you don't want to get involved. But what's the... <laughs> what is this Justice card for Pisces next 48 hours? Justice. Somebody else could be trying to pay something off. Justice, Four of Swords. Okay, that's Libra energy, strong Libra. Justice, Four of Swords. What is this for Pisces? I want to say read all of the terms and conditions of a contract before you sign Pisces. Like make sure that you read something through or just or just maybe like hold off on making a decision because maybe you don't have all the facts yet about something. OK, maybe you don't. Maybe there's certain things that are being hidden from you or that you don't know about yet. So, you know, make sure that you're reading something thoroughly. And if there's something that you don't understand, make it make sure that you're asking for it to be explained. Okay, but I feel like this could be some hidden stipulations or some hidden stuff that comes out about a shady business deal. So before you sign anything, make sure that everything is legitimate or everything's good. 
Okay, don't be forced into a corner to make a decision because you're afraid that it's not going to be on the table anymore. If you got to take your time, take your time. Okay, this could be like deception and stuff. You know, you're not seeing everything or everything's not being revealed to you right now. Justice, the Four of Swords. What is this for Pisces? Justice, Four of Swords for Pisces. Next 48 hours. Justice, Four of Swords, the Chariot. I'm getting an energy, Pisces, of like you have to incentivize somebody or you have to incentivize the people. Like give them a reason, like incentivize them. So maybe 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 you're, I don't know if you're into marketing or selling or you're a salesman or something or a saleswoman, but like your target audience, it seems like they are stressed financially. So target stress, like make stress a focal point or something like that. But there's a need to incentivize, like give people a reason or create an incentive for like why they should do that. Okay, if you do this, then you also get this. Okay, so create something that both benefits them, targets them, and also like helps them. Okay, justice. Look, look at me. Look at me teaching marketing. I don't know shit about marketing, but that's what I'm picking up on. <laughs> justice, four of swords, the chariot. Justice, Four of Swords, the Chariot. What is this Justice card here? Actually, what's this Four of Swords for Pisces? I don't know why. I'm getting an energy of like you needing to be a parent or you needing to parent somebody. Like um, you needing to be a parent or take charge or take control, like take care of something. Maybe take care of business. What is this Four of Swords for Pisces? 48 hours. Four of Swords. Four of Pentacles. There may be a need for you to let go of something as well, Pisces, because you can't control the outcome. So you may have to relinquish control a little bit. Wow, we got four, four, four. Okay, four is the number of stability, structure, okay, security, all that. Um, you may have to relinquish control a little bit in a situation. It feels like you can't control the outcome. Like, let go of the things you can't control and take control of the things that you can. Okay, the, the main thing that you can do is... is triumph around triumph above something that may be an obstacle externally but it feels like you can't control something or you can't control the outcome so you may have to like relinquish that four of swords four of pentacles the emperor i don't know if you're dealing with someone here that is controlling I'm sorry. I, I guess someone's car. Someone touched their car. What's the chariot for Pisces? Next 48. The chariot, the two of cups. This is cancer energy. So I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer here. I'm getting an energy Pisces of like, you cannot relate to somebody anymore, or you cannot connect to somebody anymore or connect to certain people anymore on a certain level. Like, um, at certain, at certain point, I don't, I don't know if you're the boss of something or what, but at a certain point, like you got to stop trying to be their friend and start realizing that you are their boss or you are their superior. Sorry. I feel like you cannot relate to somebody anymore or you cannot connect to some kind of group anymore. I feel like it's important that you distinguish like I'm your boss versus I'm your friend. Like you can't take everybody with you on something. I don't know. I'm getting the same energy. Like you can't take everybody with you on some kind of journey, Pisces. Like at some point you're going to lose relatability or you're going to lose like, like at some point people are not going to be able to relate to you or understand you. And that's, that, that's going to be a good thing. Okay. At some point, maybe you're going to be unlikable. Like, I mean, you can't be, you can't please everybody. Okay. You can't make everybody happy. I don't know. I don't know what this is talking about, but I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got for you, Pisces. Okay, I feel like you guys have to choose your battles or pick something wisely. Okay. And I'm also getting something here about like, maybe you made a mistake or choose better next time. Like next time, make better decisions or pick your battles. Okay, not everything is worth it. Not every connection is worth involving yourself into or getting invested in. Not everything is worth putting your business in or not everything is worth your trust or, or, or a battle or your, or your words or your energy. Okay, there's a need to like recognize where you're at and what you should and should not be giving energy or attention to anymore. Okay, there's a need for boundaries. Okay, but that's what I got for you, Pisces. Okay, that's what I got. 
Um, I hope this reading helped you in some way. Uh, if it resonated, I hope it provides you with some clarity in the ensuing days, the next two days. And I'm sorry, my hair has been, ugh, my hair is like a mess. Okay. I curled it and curls are just, some of it's still curled. Some of it's not. I look sick. Okay. But that's what I got for y'all. Okay. I hope this helped you in some way and I will see you guys in your next reading. Okay. Bye Pisces.